Hey guys, I got my uh, vintage General Electric 1987 model 7-4624 alarm clock here. And uh, as you can tell, it's got a wood grain cabinet. Um, tells the time, has the radio, snooze, snooze, sleep, wake hour, minute, on, off, music, music and alarm, volume. FM, AM. Sorry about that. Um, but anyway, yeah, over here, got tuning. And that's basically it for the functions. On the bottom here, we got uh, warning labels. Let's say caution do not expose to rain and stuff like that. Got a little battery compartment here. Got a little Duracell in there. Use this radio during Hurricane Sandy because it was the only radio we had in the house that ran off, that could run off battery power with, um, uh, what would, yeah, only clock in the house that ran off battery power that actually ran the radio. So that's the actually good thing about this thing. We used it for a, uh, Hurricane Sandy here in New Jersey during the storm. And, uh, we actually did not lose power. We did not lose power. And it's kind of weird. You may not believe me, but we did not lose power at all during Hurricane Sandy. But we just used this. We listened to the radio and watched TV. So we were afraid of, like, I don't know, this. You know, stuff happens to electric and all that stuff. So we just wanted to so we use this. So if something would have happened, it would happen to this. Not the $700 TV. Only this 20 bucks. So, I know it was running off the battery anyway, so it wasn't even plugged in. But anyway, um, that sleep, turn on the radio. And then, just hit snooze, shut that off. Hit wake. Um, wake is, you know, your alarm clock, so. How about those guys? Hey. 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, shoot. Did I just set that to 431? Well, now the clock's wrong. Damn it. That's the thing about this. You have to push it the, this button down really hard or else you're going to change the time. Time is at 4.32, I'll set it for 4.33, and alarm, and it's, dang it, it's AM, that put the, uh, that up a little bit, it's gonna be loud, but we'll wait in a minute, I think these two buttons show you what the seconds are, yeah, so it's, we, uh, we yeah, have like 20 seconds to go, so. That's, yeah, if you press down sleep and wake, I'll oh, show you the. the heck? Well, it shows you the seconds, and it, sh and it sometimes it turns on the radio. But, uh, yeah, so we have a few seconds to go, and it will go off. Right now. Shut it off, and when you're done, there you go. We turn it to that. Put on music for you guys. 4:34, and the radio should come on. So we got a few seconds. Y'all tune it. It is tuned. Wait. It's it's tuned. Yeah. So the radio is tuned right now. And it's on music, so the radio will come on in 20 seconds. So we'll just wait for that until the radio comes on. <sighs> so while, while we're waiting for that, come and visit me on sign up for vintage boards, vintage only boards, and we just discuss like vintage stuff like clocks and fans and all that other stuff. So here's the radio. You just simply just shut off. The link will be in the description. So come visit us there. Um, 
I guess we'll do AM. I don't really listen to AM. There's nothing on. Only when there's like sports, but who does that anymore? Like really? Who listens to AM? Except from the car when you need to for the sports and stuff. So let's turn it on. So put it. As his numero uno, Gone Girl author Jillian Flynn voted for The thing for I like about AM is that it sounds really bodies. like vintage and, and old French, and stuff. Author of Broken Harbor, love Jillian Flynn's That's Gone Girl. Sounds really good, but not. I don't really care about copyright notices. I'm not like, you know, a YouTube member, so it doesn't really matter, so. That's basically it. I mean, you know, setting the times so is basically, you know, hitting down, uh, just, you don't even have to hit down anything, just hit hour, minute. It's basically it. So, I'll put it to 10, 40, it's not that, you know. But that's basically it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And see you guys later. Please visit us at vintageonly.com.